Hello Scorpio! Welcome to your bonus love reading. Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. This is Mary from Mary's Tarot Corner. Let's see what messages will show up for you today. Scorpio, this is a collective love message for your sign. So please take it how it resonates and what resonates for your overall situation. Let's see. Let's see Scorpio, what do we have for you? What do we have for you, Scorpio? Okay. All right. So, Scorpio, you might be dealing with a sign. We have Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Or you might have heavy placements in your chart. Well, what I am getting here that you we are connecting in this reading for you with someone yeah who created conflict this person is a drama uh, i'm getting here that something here was said there was an argument a uh, very heated exchange of views or opinions and at the moment it feels very strongly that there is no contact situation there was a breakup but i can tell you here for some of you but i can tell you here scorpio that this person is heartbroken over this situation and it's like they might be, sh for instance, for the outside world, trying to kind of um, present a certain image of or, or certain image that they they don't care. But with this card, uh, there is this suggestion that uh, this is not true. Everything is not as it seems. This is someone who is trying to kind of uh, show that you know they are okay. Yes, things things happened here, but you know, I'm fine. Well, the reality that they are not. This is someone who's not having a great time. For some of you, uh, there was an, an argument because I'm getting here that this person made you feel that they have secrets, that they are not fully transparent. You you might have suspected here that they uh, were lying. Or for some of you, this person here accused you of um, of of not being transparent, being um, sneaky, or having secrets. But I feel that there was uh, there is a tension between the two of you that uh, kind of um, the result of that tension was manifested uh, in 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 a in no contact situation or is manifested in no contact situation or there was a breakup because of some sort of kind of illusions and i feel that it's it's day energy this is someone here who was lying or who had secrets well they're coming with an offer interesting thing here is that this is an ace of pentacles an ace of pentacles it's that solid offer and look, we have an offer here as well. Uh, so this person here is coming with an offer. I feel that they truly want to kind of make amends with you. We have gift, date, commitment. It's like they are coming here and wanting to apologize to you, Scorpio. This is someone who will uh, ask you on a date or they will come over with a gift and they will say that things will be different. They want to heal the situation. But when it comes to your energy, with this, I feel that you don't trust this person. You see them as a sneaky individual, someone who might uh, have unhealthy habits, who is entertaining karmic energies. And again, we have secrets, lies. I feel that you kind of see this person as someone who lied to you, who wasn't fully transparent, and it's like they got caught. Hmm. We have May, April, and March. Something here might have happened between the two of you in the past. Those months might be quite important for your uh, for your situation. We have longing. I feel this person, if there is no contact situation and that's what the card suggesting energy is suggesting is that this person is missing you they are longing for you you are on their mind and they are not taking this time apart very 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 well 
Mm -hmm. Spring also is this energy of rebirth and I feel that they really want to make amends. This is a mutual energy but I'm getting this is day's energy. Uh, when, when it comes to you, Scorpio, I feel that you kind of, uh, you, you really, mm, there is something here about this tension that they created, drama, that conflict, this person said one thing too much. And I, it wouldn't surprise me if you are angry with this person or annoyed with, with their attitude and how they handle this whole situation. Overall energy, we have timing. This, 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 this connection requires lots of patience. A, a lot of patience. There is also here something about divine timing. But you might be feeling like time is running out. This is someone who really needs to, if they want to heal the situation, I feel that you, you don't even know what they need to do. It's like I, I am out of, you know, any kind of uh, ideas here because so much damage has been done. I'm getting that's your energy for some of you. Show me this person's energy and feelings towards Scorpio and this connection, please. But this is someone who created a breakup. Or oh, that huge emotional disappointment. Two of Pentacles. We have an Ace of Swords. <laughs> the Lovers. You might be dealing Scorpio with Gemini. Could you please show me this person's energy and feelings towards Scorpio and this connection with a fortune, two of swords. He might be dealing with Sagittarius. I also have your energy Scorpio. So you might be dealing with another Scorpio. We have Taurus, Aquarius, Leo. So far in this reading for you, five of cups as an overall energy for the part of the reading. This is someone who has regrets. They feel that they messed things up. This is someone who is not happy with the state of affairs regarding this connection. They want this connection. They want to come back. This is someone who wants to heal the situation, but... Uh, this is, this is energy of regret. I feel this person is very, very, very disappointed with how the things developed in that situation. They are very disappointed with themselves because they are aware that they said here something and they should have not. It's like they said one thing too much in a hit of a moment. Ooh, they, they, they are not having a great time. No. Two of Pentacles with the Ace of Swords. Oh, should I should I reach out? Should I say this or should I not? This person is at the moment thinking what to do. Ace of Swords suggests that they want to reach out. They want to clear the air with you, Scorpio. Mm -hmm. This is also that kind of energy of, of truth, clarity here. It's coming, but they want to talk about this connection. We have the lovers. You have someone here who wants to be with you. Scorpio, they're coming with this offer. They want to heal this situation. Excuse me. Mm. They want to change the circumstances with the, with the will of fortune. This is someone here who wants to have a conversation uh, in order to have a reconciliation with you or to heal the situation or to be again on the speaking terms with you to, in order to kind of move this connection into a better place that's what they want two of swords with the queen of pentacles yeah but it's like they are they don't know what and how to do it because again i feel that the damage has been done and what they can offer you this is someone who is at the moment at the moment, I feel that they are really, really kind of at the crossroads thinking what I can say here to change the circumstances between me and Scorpio. Because they want to make an offer. We have this energy. 
Queen of Pentacles, they want to kind of make this this the situation better, big time. But with the Two of Swords, it's like being at the crossroads. What can I offer, Scorpio? What, I want to have this honest conversation, but what happened here? I feel that really this person really messed things up. Well, they they have regrets, even if they are showing a completely you know different. Uh, even if they are trying to present themselves in a different way, like unbothered, mm -mm -mm. no, that's BS. No, look, this is a card of unhappiness, sadness. Some of the readers call it as a river of tears. This is someone here who is who is crying over a spilled milk. But the love is still there. They still want connection, relationship. They want to reconnect. They want to make amends. Because they want to be with you. Show me Scorpio's energy and feelings towards this person and this connection. We have the star. You might be dealing with Aquarius. We have a king of pentacles. So what I am getting here for some of you, you are in a relationship with this person or you are in a relationship with this person, but with this energy, maybe, you know, it's like this connection is facing separation at the moment. That can be a case for some of you, but this is a divine counterpart energy, but this king with the queen, they are not on a speaking terms. They are not looking at each other, really. Three of Pentacles. What I am getting is that you, you, you feel this connection. You might be feeling here that you might be dealing with like a karmic soulmate, or unhealed twin. Seven of Cups and we have the Hierophant. Uh, you might be dealing with Taurus. Knight of Cups, overall energy. Expect an apology from this person. There is something here about illusions with the Seven of Cups. For some of you, this is someone here who you felt like there is always something or someone else far more important than this connection. And with the Seven of Cups, it's like they made you feel that they didn't prioritize this connection or they are not prioritizing this connection. There is something here about a level of a higher level of commitment. For some of you, when it comes to this connection, family, they, this person's family might be playing quite a significant role and might be a kind of... A, influencing this person in a certain way what I am getting for some of you just want to you want this person to clarify their intentions and just know if they are seeing future with you do they want a high level of commitment this is someone who gave you so many sleepless nights. And the thing is with the star, I feel that you are healing from that situation. But there is also that element of hope that you might be hopeful that actually this person will realize that there is something very special between the two of you. With the three of pentacles, maybe this is someone from your workplace, someone connected with your workplace, doesn't have to be. But it's like Three of Pentacles is that teamwork. And th that's what I feel it's been lacking here when it comes to this connection because this person failed to kind of see uh, you halfway or to see your point of view. It's like they refuse to kind of acknowledge where you're coming from. There was a lack of understanding or there is a lack of understanding. I feel that you were the one who was doing everything to make this situation work. You've been very invested in this connection. You were putting an enormous amount of work in order to things, you know, to 
work between the two of you but it was like it, at some point I feel that it gave you so much anxiety because it felt like it's one-sided and this person at some point has been very wishy-washy about them clarifying their intentions or something to do with uh, relatives or family situation they coming with an apology though yeah that offer offer of it's coming you see knight of cups yeah offer of love here it's coming they will apologize or oh, they will try to they will they, they will present you with the gift mm -hmm. manifesting work they are working on something here. This is someone who's going to surprise you, Scorpio. Or Scorpio will surprise you, Crosswatcher. Might be dealing with Virgo, Gemini, but they are manifesting here. A change. Could you please show me the outcome? Eight of Swords, Page of Cups, Two of Wands. Okay, show me the outcome. Three of Wands and Two of Cups, interesting. Hmm. I see reconciliation between the two of you, Scorpio. You might be dealing with, we have strong Leo seven of swords as an overall energy scorpio i don't know with whom you're dealing with but eight of swords suggests that this person at the moment at least they are not coming here with much page of cups they will be very very nice but this is a potential this is not much because this person it's stuck it might be a mindset or they might feel like their hands are tied. They are unable here to give you what, what you kind of truly want at the moment. But they will be very, very sweet towards you. Expect a, a message of affection or, or gift. And with the two, yeah, this person will give you something. And they will take action. It's like they are planning here. Some of you, this is someone who is just, they don't have much here to offer. There is something here about stability in general. But I'm getting here that they are, it's like their intentions are there. But when it comes to practicality, this is someone who doesn't have much to offer at least for now because they're still stuck in their circumstances or they feel that way that they are trapped metaphorically saying you know or their hands are tied here mutual energy we have a three of wands and the two of cups it's like i'm getting that this person will tell you please wait look what we have here timing patience be more patient with me please wait for me because i'm nearly there and we'll be together or things will get better between the two of you between the two of us sorry i can see us on the horizon i can see us as a couple i can see us being in a higher level of commitment but it's like the timing it's not right it will manifest in the right time but i see reconciliation though i'm also seeing them saying something like this to you you have someone who wants to who wants this connection because they have the lovers and i feel that you know you want this person to make things right because there is a very strong connection between the two of you six of cups i feel that i'm going to be honest with the Queen of Swords, I feel, Scorpio, that you are open for reconciliation. With the Six of Cups, this is a major energy of reconciliation. If they provide you with, with, a, with a good apology. But 
you are embodying this energy of Queen of Swords. You might be dealing with Gemini. Um, I feel that you know exactly what you want. You have certain expectations towards this connection. And if this person, I'm getting if this person is unable to deliver within time, then you... <laughs> You, I feel that you will not have a problem to kind of detach from that situation because it might be a case that you are losing your patience with them. Strength here suggests that you'll be very, very diplomatic. Queen of Swords, she, that energy is very diplomatic as well. But strength is that card of diplomacy. I feel that you will handle this situation or you are handling the situation in an in a absolutely you know, fabulous way, to be honest with you. But strength also has this tendency, this energy to hold back. And I see that kind of reconciliation. I see a conversation about reconciliation. But we have the two of cups and six of cups. Yeah, the, There is a big possibility for, for a lot of you, if you want, this Scorpio, that you will reconcile with this person. But um, overall energy, seven of swords, I feel that you... Don't trust this person. You see them as a sneaky individual, someone who's not fully transparent. And it's like, I'm getting here that you might give this person one last chance, but they have to be really careful with their actions because, again, certain damage here has been done. And it, and it will take a bit of time to rebuild your trust, for them to rebuild, you know, trust, because you don't trust this person. However, I'm seeing here that indeed uh, there is a big opportunity and there will be a possibility to reconnect, at least with this person. So if you want this, I can see it happening. But when it comes to this person taking certain action in order to move this connection into the next level or to kind of change certain things in this connection that are very, very significant and they might be impacting this connection, I, I, I feel this person kind of, I'm getting that this person might be feeling that they are unable to do that at the moment. However, they still want this connection. So it depends on you, Scorpio. They will, they, they will here reach out because they want to clear the air with you. So you can expect that very soon this person will reach out to you. Scorpio, I will leave it here. Thank you so, so very much for being with me. Please like, share and subscribe. And once again, thank you very much for your time. I truly, truly appreciate you. Scorpio, have a fantastic and absolutely gorgeous day. And once again, thank you very much for being with me. I'm sending you much, much love. Till next time, take care. Bye.